So since I announced I'm pregnant again in real life, have you all felt the urge to be mean to me? I knew it. How could you be mean to a pregnant person? It's not your fault though. It's apparently a thing. People just enjoy being mean to pregnant people. I'll show you. Our good buddy Darman made a video called The Husband Leaves His Pregnant Wife. Let's see how mean this gets. Aw, she looks so cute. <sighs> Those clothes make you look really fat. <gasps> Oh, we are seven seconds in. Oh my, oh my God. You look beautiful. Oh no, what's gonna happen now? Wow, your wrinkles are really bad. You should use some oh. cover up to hide those age spots. <laughs> now what? Now what? She's making bacon and eggs. You're really gonna eat all of that? Oh, I was planning to. <laughs> what happened to you? You used to be um, so beautiful, then you gained all this weight. It's gross. <laughs> I'm going to have a heart attack. First of all, he doesn't even know she's pregnant yet, I'm assuming. He could just sense it. People can just sense when you're pregnant and they're like, I must be mean to this person. Chops! <laughs> just in case you were unaware, I, I, I can't fathom the amount of meanness I've heard in the last 40 seconds. So I apologize for my reaction, but I have not watched this yet. You're really gonna eat all of that? It's like, why can't you just eat an apple like me? I will also say that just eating an apple for breakfast is also not the healthiest choice. So as I've learned, <laughs> you're supposed to have that plus something else, some sort of pro lean protein. Girl, you eat your eggs. <laughs> you eat your eggs, okay? <laughs> His face. Oh no, oh, here it comes. Oh. It turned blue. <gasps> I'm so happy what for you, girl. <laughs> what does that mean? It like brings me back to when people were testing for the virus that shall not be named. And some people thought it was like a pregnancy test. <laughs> That's this guy. He's like, wait a minute. Are you sick or are you pregnant? I've been extra mean to you lately. So I'm pretty sure that means you're pregnant. What does that mean? It means they're having a oh, baby. She's so happy. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be happy to have it's a baby like with this man. About. No, I never talked about wanting a baby. Of course you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> what? Gaslighting. I'm a baby right now. You're... I know it's scary, but you're gonna be a great father. No, he's not. <laughs> I pray you don't have a daughter. You need to get rid of it. Oh my but God. <laughs> I am not getting rid of it. I thought he was about to hit her. <laughs> I was about to be like, what video did I just put on? This is from two months ago. This is recent. I am flabbergasted. I can't do this anymore. What? What does that mean? It means I'm leaving, Molly. I can't have this responsibility, Molly. Are you kidding me? This is on I you now. I've been pretend that things are good with us for a while now, but they're not. And adding a baby to the mix just makes things worse. Oh, no. Our baby needs a father. I need you. No, you don't. Then I guess you better find a new father. Because it won't be me. <gasps> Damn! Please, please, please. Oh my God. <laughs> it hurts my soul. When Victor leaves his family behind. Yes, to start a new life. Thank you for your voice interruption to he help me. <laughs> dating a younger woman and began going out more and more. Oh, what drink is this? Are they drinking the blood of their enemies? Like what? <laughs> what? Straight up strawberry syrup. <laughs> but the more time he spent whining and dining his new young girlfriend, the more his performance at work suffered. Why? I need to know what the lesson in this is. Is it if you're having too much fun dating somebody else, you're not going to do well in work. So you should stay married to somebody that you don't go out and have fun with as much fire him and he eventually lost his yeah job. fire him he's the worst have his life fall Being apart unemployed and broke meant victor could no longer afford the fancy nights out with his new girlfriend aha uh -huh. which meant soon 
He had no girlfriend at all. Oh no. I like how this man's life fell apart because he spent too many nights out drinking strawberry syrup with some new younger girl. That's how his life fell apart. Not like he became addicted to something. All he had to do was stop going out <laughs> to really late dinners with his new girlfriend. That was it. Then one day, he runs into someone he hadn't seen in a long time. Oh my God, I wonder who it could be. <laughs> No way. Molly. Molly, is that really you? Is that really you? She looks exactly the same. Also, dude, you gotta also fix your fashion just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I can be mean to him, okay? He was mean to the pregnant lady. See, wait, she's not pregnant anymore. He's just suddenly gonna be nice to her. Watch. I'm telling you, it's something in people. They just wanna be mean to pregnant ladies. <laughs> also, for all the people who can't tell that I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> for the most part, people are totally fine to me. Don't be concerned about me. And just to prove it, leave a like. Just look at how many likes there are and you'll see that people are not actually trying to be mean to me. Hopefully, we'll see. Victor? Wow. He looks exactly look the same too. Amazing. She looks Stunning, exactly the same. Actually. See, it's because she's not pregnant. He's like, you look fantastic. Stunning, actually. Wish I could say the same. Damn! You noticed. <laughs> you yeah, noticed my shirt. It's been a tough year since we split up. You mean since you left me? Damn, look, you tell I him. I lost my job and lost Don't my you apartment. dare take him back. Don't but you dare. Things are going to turn around for me. Don't you dare. Any day now. Well, it was nice seeing you. Victor. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Wait, Molly. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. And oh, yeah? I realized that I made a big mistake walking out on you. Oh yeah? And us meeting like this, I mean, it's a sign. Oh no, oh I'm no. give this another shot. No. This? 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 <laughs> us, you and I, the happy couple. He still gives no craps about his baby. <laughs> None. She's literally pushing his baby in a stroller. He has never met this child and he's still like, does not care that he has a child. Oh, Victor, it is too late for that. No, it's never too late as long as two people really love. Is everything okay, Molly? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Everything yeah. is fine. <laughs> I found your baby a new father like you told me to go do. Honey, could you put the baby in the car seat? I'll be right there. The baby. No, There's no me. name. <laughs> He's like, and actually, this is my baby. <laughs> ah, I see. You had to go marry some rich guy. How do you... How do you know he's rich? How would you know that by looking at him? Actually, that's not at all what happened. I'm the breadwinner <gasps> in this relationship. Oh, damn! You see, at first I blamed oh. myself for what happened to our relationship. I was so determined to blame myself that I couldn't see the truth. Not until a man appreciated me for who I truly am. <laughs> I'm trying to frame my thoughts for how this is a terrible example of what should have happened after that. She was like, I felt awful until another man made me feel good again. <laughs> Not my own self-worth. Another man made me feel good about myself again. But I, I get the, the message. Truth? I understand. That I wasn't the problem in this relationship, Victor. You were. You were. You spent so much time tearing me down, making me feel bad about myself, and yeah, very give little it to time him. building me up. Yeah. Yeah. Supporting me. Give it to him. Loving me unconditionally. And despite everything you did to me, I have to thank you for giving me the most beautiful daughter whom I adore. Oh, they did have a daughter. Thank God this man is not there anymore. And for showing me the kind of man I do not want in either of our lives. That's a good life lesson, but you know what you should also teach your daughter? <laughs> you don't need a man to make you feel good about yourself. You can do it on your own. Wait, at least let me meet my daughter. No, you, you have no interest. No. A baby needs her father. I don't owe you <laughs> anything. Shit. Oh, she should have said she has a father. My daughter already has yeah. Yeah. a wonderful father. It's just not you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go burn your shirt now. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, well, <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm thoroughly offended, but I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> 
I don't know how to feel. So let's just go to the next one. Also from our buddy Darman, top taxi driver kicks out pregnant woman. He lives to regret it. Literally my favorite way that he ever titles videos because I always just assume that means that whoever was wronged is gonna like kill that person. <laughs> let's see. Oh no, oh she real pregnant. Wait, are you having another one? Olivia, that's less than five minutes. I know, Liam. Where are you? I need to go to the hospital right now. Okay. All right, I'll, uh, I'll call Uber. Hurry, Liam, hurry. Oh, sweetheart, the Uber says it's 17 minutes away. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I can't wait 17 minutes. I am so sorry. Yeah, sweetheart. why are you not there? I can't believe the baby's coming this early. If I had known, I never would have taken this out-of-town assignment. I mean, she looks pretty far along. It was that early? You did this on purpose. I'm just gonna take myself. No, 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 no. Don't drive yourself. Just go outside. There's always taxis there. <sighs> I'll do that. Right, Sounds I like my nightmare. I'm flight out of here. Give me a call when you're in the car, okay? Okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Well, that's a stark contrast to the last relationship. <laughs> How is there always Taxi. taxis? It's like Taxi. a <laughs> dead residential neighborhood. I thought she was going to walk outside. It was going to be the city, like an apartment. If I was in this situation, no lie, I would probably drive myself. Taxi! Taxi! His face! Oh. I'd be too creeped out to go with this man. I need to go to the hospital. Oh no. Okay, it's gonna be 100 flat. What? Ah. miles away. Yeah, well, I'm not risking anything happening in the back of my cab. What? If you don't like it, you can get another ride. Just go! You're wasting time! Okay, look, lady, you need to get out of my cab. What? Here, put it on my credit card. Oh. Sorry, but it's cash only. <gasps> There's a terminal right there. Like I said, it's cash only. This man is pure evil. Okay, let me just see what I have. You are, by this time, we could have had an Uber. Here. We could have gotten an Uber. 96. 96? 96! $4. Please, if you don't do it for me, then just- Do it for the baby. Do it for yourself. What? Because how you treat people always comes back to you. That's right. How is he gonna regret it? Thank you. Oh, he took the money. Does he take her money and then kick her out? Come on, please. Can we go? Please? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, go, 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 go. She said the hospital's five miles away. I hey, definitely hey, would have driven hey, myself. Hey, I'm in the car on the way to the hospital now. Okay, just breathe. You can do this, sweetheart. I found a flight. I'm on my way to the airport right now. Oh, my phone's about to die. Oh, no. Oh, one percent. Do you have a phone charger? No, I don't. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Can't you see I'm charging my phone? Oh my god. I need to be able to contact my husband if I could just use your charger. Why do you keep hassling me, lady, huh? I said no. <laughs> why, do you, why do you keep hassling me, lady? I know you're in like the worst pain you could have in your life. But stop hassling me. I gotta charge my phone to play Candy Crush later, all right? Is he gonna kick her out? Okay, she... Wait, how is he still there? I thought her phone died. <laughs> What's going on back there? It's just the contractions. They're just getting closer. Oh no. You gotta get out of my car. Give her back her money at least. Have you deliver a baby in the back of my cab, what? okay? Why, you'd be on the news. You could probably have- I'm not going to ask you again, and don't make me drag a pregnant woman out of this cab tonight. I mean, that- uh, that wouldn't be any worse than what you're doing right now. So, where did he just leave her? Hey, what's happening? He just kicked me out the cab. No, you can't be serious. Uh, all right, tell me where you are so that I can... No. Oh. Hey, you left your bag in here. Just come and get it. Can you please just take me to the hospital? <laughs> this no, is so hard, hard to watch. Just get you back. Please, please call she me. has no phone, please, too. Please, please. I mean, you are now. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Bye. Oh my God. This is a literal nightmare scenario. Hey. Hey, excuse me. Um, are you okay? My God, an angel. Um, do, do you need to go to the hospital? Okay. Um, okay. On, I'll take you in my cab. I don't have any cash. 
No, no, don't worry about it. I'm not doing it for that. I, please, oh. I, I want to help you. Are you sure you don't need any money? God knows I need money, but I'm not. That's not what's important right now. Please, if I, if, if I can just get you to my cab, I'll take you to the hospital. Is she gonna like secretly be? No, she wouldn't be a millionaire because <laughs> that would this exactly. wouldn't have happened. I'm Brendan, by the way. Olivia. Oh, oh, it all ended up okay. Liv. Oh, I was so worried about. You. <laughs> Did I miss the birth of my child? So where's our baby boy? He's with the nurses now, but the oh, doctor thank he's God. Oh my God, I get so, there was a pause there and I thought something else, my heart just can't handle any more <laughs> drama and trauma. I didn't think I was gonna make it. But another cab driver saw me on the side of the street, picked me up and brought me to the hospital. He didn't even charge me. Oh wow. <laughs> What a nice guy. She went from like the meanest taxi driver on planet Earth to like the nicest. What luck! I don't know what I would have done without him. Find I him. Wish there was some way we could repay him, you know? I mean, you could. You just find him and then you could at least pay him. I think I've got an idea. Let's just say it's a good thing your husband's a reporter. Oh! I, but I called it! I called it! I said the one guy was like, if somebody has birth in your cab, you could possibly be on the news. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> it's the cab driver. Why is he the worst human being? No, hey. <laughs> For no Don't reason. It's not my fault, man. Coffee here sucks. Oh. Hey, Brandon. James. Thank you both for coming in on such short notice. Listen, if this is about the past due gate fee, I promise I will have the money. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It's not about that at all. Actually, someone's here to see you. <gasps> what? Both of you. Oh, all right. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't get all day, so let's get on with it. Oh, hey, Olivia. How, how are you? He's like, <laughs> he's like. Damn it. Oh no, everybody's gonna know now I'm the worst person ever. I'm well, thank you. This is my husband, Liam. It's an honor to meet you. I really appreciate what you did for my wife. Oh yeah, no, thanks, no problem. I just realized they dress the same. They're bang. <laughs> I just have to break the, I feel so traumatized right now, okay? You know, anyone would have done what I did. Well, not anyone. Um, <laughs> you like I'm just anyways, the worst. Have, now everybody's uh, gonna know. For you. Uh, yeah, one hundred twenty-five thousand eight hundred fifty-five surprises. What? To be exact. Um, I'm I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> well, my husband's a reporter, and I don't know if you saw, but he did a story on what happened that night and how you helped me. And it turns out someone put a GoFundMe together, so uh, this is for you. Here's your suitcase of cash. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was about to lose my house. And... Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you. Really, you deserve it. Because how you treat people always has a way of coming back to you. This isn't fair. That money should be mine. I'm the one who took you first. Yeah, you also overcharged her and then kicked her out of your oh. car. That's right. I read the article. <laughs> How did you treat her like that? What is wrong with you? Yeah, you tell him. In my office now, we need to have a talk. Fire him. Okay, listen, there's a little bit of misunderstanding. I can explain. Is this him? Yeah. That'd be great if she was like, no, <laughs> this is some other baby that I found. I don't know where mine is. His name is Brendan. Oh my gosh. After she, the hero who saved him. She named him after the cab driver. She was like, we really didn't have a name, so thank you. Watch this, pregnant lady kicked out of house. What happens next is shocking. I told you, people just like being mean to pregnant women on YouTube. So, I mean, if you want to see more of me reacting to more people being mean to pregnant people, then make sure you leave a like or a comment or whatever, and I will do more because why not?